Okay, hey guys. So part of the fun of being keto is fat coffee. So you may have heard of bulletproof coffee, which is basically just coconut oil and butter and coffee. And people are like, what, butter and coffee? That's so gross, but it's actually really, really good. Um, I have made some of my own variations, so I'm sharing with you guys what I love. Um, and so I'm gonna walk you through all these fat coffee recipes that I have in your meal plan. So first I wanna tell you, um, you can use any coffee you want, but I do like recommend this Defiant coffee in there just because I think it's awesome that they have grass-fed collagen in one of theirs. And then I am such a nerd about medicinal mushrooms and nootropics, which is like something you can take to enhance your brain. Um, and so this one has three different medicinal mushrooms in it, lion's mane, chaga, and cordyceps. I put these in my coffee separately anyway, so having it in there, I think it's so awesome. And these, like, lion's mane helps with your nervous system and inflammation and brain health, and chaga helps with your immune system. It also helps with um, blood pressure and blood sugar sensitivity, so bringing your blood sugar down. And then cordyceps will give you energy for your workouts and also helps with bringing, regulating blood sugar. So it's kind of cool. I thought that was a cool thing to have in keto to help you regulate your blood sugar and get all these health benefits while you're drinking your coffee. So you can use any coffee you want, but I really, really like these guys and it tastes really good too. Okay, so um, fat coffee. The regular fat coffee with dairy. Now some of us do okay with dairy. I do okay with dairy. So I love whipping cream in my coffee. So I definitely included that in this plan. If you don't do well with whipping cream, don't do the dairy one. Just sub it out for one of the recipes that doesn't have dairy in it. But our, our regular, um, fat coffee recipe is gonna have two tablespoons of heavy cream. So heavy whipping cream. I like to get something that's organic from like a small family farm because you don't wanna get your products from sick animals, right? So I like this one. Um, you can do any like organic, grass-fed, pasture-raised, cr heavy cream, or if you just can't afford that, it's okay, just get regular heavy cream. Um, so that will have, the regular fat coffee has two tablespoons of this and then a tablespoon of butter, right? And I, again, I always go for pasture raised. If you can, if you can afford it, go for it. So um, I'm gonna cut off a tablespoon of this. A lot of people like to do like, to, like to make this in a blender. So if you make it in your blender, just be careful because it gets really hot and it could like pop the lid off. So hold the lid down if you do the blender method. I This is what I have. I have a French press. So this is ready to go in here. And then I'm gonna pour it over here into, this is just like a stirrer that I have. You could use like a little like handheld one where you stick the stirrer in there too. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Smells so good. And then my butter will just melt right in. Just throw the butter in. And then two tablespoons of this heavy cream. I'm just gonna eyeball it, but since you guys are on plan, you should probably measure it. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna let that stir up, and that's the regular fat coffee. Now, okay, to make the fat coffee with no dairy, I'm gonna turn that off. To make the fat coffee with no dairy, you're actually gonna use this Complete Wellness MCT oil powder. So I like the MCT oil powder because it's sweetened with stevia. So instead of just putting MCT oil in your coffee and having like oil coffee, I like this because it makes it creamy. It kind of doubles as a creamer and it's sweetened. It's vanilla and it's sweetened with stevia, which is a good healthy sweetener. And so I use this every single day in my coffee, whether I'm keto or not. Um, MCTs will turn into ketones. Through, they go through your liver and they turn straight into ketones. So this, this is an awesome thing to add into your diet. You can use regular MCT oil if you want. It's just not gonna be creamy. Um, so the regular fat coffee, the fat coffee with no dairy has a scoop of this MCT oil powder and a tablespoon, tablespoon of coconut oil and um, a tablespoon of grass-fed butter, right? So make it the same way. Okay, then adding collagen. So you'll notice, you'll notice on keto, it's kind of popular to add collagen into your food, um, especially your coffee. It's just a nice way to make sure you're covering your bases with your proteins. So this is like, people say, what protein powder should I have on keto? And I'm like, you don't need a protein powder. This is about as far as you want to get. This one has, um, this is 20 grams of collagen peptides in here. So it has 18 grams of protein. That's about as high as you want to go on your protein powders, right? So I like this one because it will support um, healthy nails, skin, hair, and all of that. So sometimes people go a little too low on their protein and keto and like start to lose hair and things like that. So 
Sometimes that means they're not eating enough. Sometimes that means other things, but this is just a good thing to keep in your, um, in your plan. So our fat collagen coffee has uh, one scoop of the MCT oil powder, um, two scoops of this. I like Vital Proteins. You can use whatever brand of collagen peptides you want. Um, and a tablespoon of whipping cream and a tablespoon of butter. So it kind of has it all, right? So this is like basically a breakfast. And the nice thing about coffee, if you're a coffee drinker, is that if you're trying to wait a little longer in your day till you eat your first meal, this will regulate your blood sugar with all the healthy fats. And then the coffee and the caffeine acts as an appetite suppressant, so super nice. Um, and then of course we have our fat coconut collagen coffee, which is the um, non-dairy version that doesn't have the whipping cream and it will have coconut oil instead. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy these coffee recipes. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how I mix it all in. 